Yo, what's going on guys? Koi here. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new situation um, that, uh, what do you call it, Ego got some information about what's actually going on and stuff like that. If you don't know Ego, Ego is one of the, is the uh, guy who did the leaks and stuff like that. So we're just going to be going over his stuff. Uh, he goes, I'll explain briefly on what's going on, why we aren't getting any content or nor updates. This is the info I've gathered by doing some research. Nothing I'm going to say is going to be 100% confirmed, but uh, it all aligns with another. Uh, first, I want to clarify something. Crunchyroll A Plus Japan isn't developers. Of course, they are publishers. Uh, they, do they do ads plus community events plus Facebook, Discord, the rest. T3 Studios is a developer. That's something I did get wrong. Uh, well, I didn't know Phil's a developer or not. Uh, freaking... Uh, I only get the translation. Uh, the They are owned by Perfect World, of course, which this is why they got merged back in with the original company. Uh, so let's be honest, the game had a mad launch. This is just an opinionated part, I guess. I'm going to give you a list of uh, the mistakes they made, but uh, uh, it was meh. Yeah, I understand. They, they freaking, they messed up uh, the marketing. I didn't see any marketing for it. I didn't see any... Uh, what do you call it? Any real hype? Crunchyroll definitely fucked it up by dropping the ball on how Silver actually worked in the game. Uh, the the media teams are always like days behind the actual Facebook teams and stuff like that. And there's always just so many fuck ups on the on that media side of things, and it's just really annoying. So uh, what do you call it? They were losing money. Uh, what? Now here I'm a little lost right here because. He does say that uh, they fired half their people in March because uh, that was something that was being uh, brought up uh, when they brought up and fired half the people. I don't think they fired half the people over this, over losing money, because this was something that was happening before then, like before the game's release. Uh, and, you know, I guess uh, my best guess is that they had to fire those people because a bunch of years of production and they barely got out season one worth of content i didn't like that much and there was like a lot of people who were like fucking around and stuff like that i'm guessing because the money definitely wasn't being put where it was supposed to i mean hell even the marketing's bad but that has to do with the publishers um but you know i i think that it wasn't it doesn't have to do with them taking net losses due to the fact that everything's already paid for and that's just the way that things are in the industry. And um, whenever something's done, you know what I mean? You'll notice that uh, there is some breathing room and time that they do have to give developers in order for them to actually get their stuff done. So, no, I, I'm not I'm not 100% sure that the, uh, what do you call it, that the developers got fired over that. I think they got fired before this due to the fact that there's been so little done with so much time. Uh, but. I digress. Uh, let's see. He goes, what's going on now? Well, Perfect Worlds took the studio project into their headquarters, but they are not working on it. The project has been frozen because One Punch Man World is not their top priority. Uh, they have another game with other issue that they have to work on at first, and we're going to say that there's no character nor event until they put a team together on the project. And keep in mind... Uh, I found this info at the end of last month, so maybe they did put a team together by the time he's, oh, what do you call it, the, by the time he's typing this, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you can note that they still plan to work on the project. Yes, they do. Uh, they still plan on working on the project and everything like that. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, that's pretty much about it with that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my end of this. Uh, I do believe that um, uh, some of this is a little like, upsetting for sure due to the fact that i know for sure that the pattern's been broken now i'm going to show you guys the pattern at the start of february which was the release of the game they released terrible tornado or released a sneak peek of her coming soon she ended up coming out on the third that was the way that you know she released and stuff like that after that some time went by and then we had the rate up banner which are useless and then we had the uh where is it Atomic Samurai, which was at the end of the month. So technically, it was featured at the 24th of February. So the end of the month then released uh, during this time, and that was it. Atomic Samurai came out. 
uh, it wasn't really, it didn't really come out, come out like that. It came out like in February, the end of February. So that's just the way that they like to do these types of releases. Uh, that's the pattern. The pattern is start of the month, end of the month, new character. And I'm going to show you the fact that this pattern still works uh, whenever we talk about, um, what do you call it, a, a My Mask. So we got a My Mask. He came out, he was uh, talked about at March, but he pretty much came out at the start of April, end of March. So that was like, let's just say beginning of April. Then after that, we had some time that passed by. And then, boom, end of April, we ended up getting um, Speed of Sound Sonic. And that's like, it was two characters per uh, month. You know what I mean? Two characters every two months. That's the deal. Two brand new characters every two months. Remember that pattern. Now, the problem is, if we go up to the latest, we didn't get a announcement or anything by the end of this month, which is kind of weird. Because, you know, with the Amai Mask one, we did get it early. With the Atomic uh with the Tatsumaki one, we got it late. Now, whenever we get down to this point, you'll notice that we pretty much have peaked and we haven't gotten anything since. This is a problem. Uh, with this being the issue, we're just going to have to, like, actually just going to have to figure out what happens next. Because keep in mind we also have half anniversary that's coming out in july and that's something that they just don't play with so if half anniversary come out now in the beginning of july then that means we have to get something big at the in the middle of this month or towards the end of this month because there's just no way that uh, they're just not going to release a character and not give us a ridiculously large content drop in the middle of the month but he did say that they are switching out, but they, they have been switching out developers for a minute now. And if they can get some developers to actually work on pushing the content, uh, pushing the characters, then we'll have to see what happens next. Now, there was a point that he did bring up whenever we were talking, and that was the fact that they did talk about PvP and stuff. And PvP, um, how do you say it? PvP is going to be actually fixed stats, just like... Um, it's going to be just like, um, what's that stuff called? The uh, hot hot battle game mode. So do expect there to be very balanced PvP. I don't expect there to be any types of huge metas until we actually get to see what the characters and how they play, if there's any type of PvP differences. But I think everything's going to play exactly the same. Now, uh, freaking, yeah, that, that should really cover it all. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, you know, we're still got the game. It's just, it's going to be releasing stuff very, very slowly. No talks about EOS or anything like that. So we're just chilling. Uh, just enjoy your little vacation from one punch Man world. If you are going to be playing, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I'm going to be playing the game obviously to get my silver and stuff like that and continue my allowance and stuff like that. So that's just me. Uh, you guys enjoy. I'll take it. Y'all take it easy. Uh, freaking I'm thinking about streaming today. But I do not know. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really feeling it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Take it easy and peace out, my dudes.